So what is commercial awareness? Now, commercial awareness was the element of interviews that I was sort of most afraid of as a student. And it was partly because I didn't know what it meant. And if you don't know what it means, then it's really hard to prepare for it. So I think of commercial awareness as almost two separate strands or two separate elements that are interlinked in some way. On the one hand, you've got an understanding of how businesses work, how they operate, how they finance their operations, why one business would buy another, what are the risks they face and all that kind of thing. It's these kind of micro internal factors that affect um, specific businesses. Now that second strand is more about an awareness of or sort of an interest in the economic landscape, business landscape, political landscape, industry trends, and all the kind of high level stuff that affects businesses and industries in general. And that you would prepare for in a slightly different way. Now, the reason those two strands are interlinked, I'll give an example. If you're advising a business and that business is doing really well, it's making loads of profit, it's growing and everything is really positive. And you might say to that business, you're doing great. You need to raise some money. Why don't you raise money in the capital market, sell your shares through a stock exchange, sell bonds, investors will love you because you're doing really well. Now that advice might be all well and good if we're in an economic boom because the business is succeeding. But if you fail to take into account the fact that maybe there's a recession looming or a pandemic or Brexit has caused uncertainty or something like that going on at kind of higher level, that might mean that your advice doesn't have context. So the business might be doing well, but if investors in general aren't looking to invest to the same extent because of what's going on in the world, then actually your advice might be different. So you need that context that you get from that second strand of commercial awareness to make sure the businesses you're advising uh, receive advice that takes into account all the different variables that impact on them. Now, there is sort of a difference between commercial awareness and commercial interest. And I think commercial interest is what firms are looking for to a greater extent. No firm can expect you to know everything about anything going on in the world, but they will want to see that you are interested in sort of the business world and the commercial news and all the different things that impact upon the firm and its clients. So don't put too much pressure on yourself about knowing everything.